Morgan Evans here for Pickleball Channel with coverage from the 2017 Minto US Open Pickleball Championships in lovely Naples, Florida. We're bringing you the men's 19 plus doubles final. In this matchup, we see veteran of the sport, Brian Ashworth, teaming up with a man who's no stranger to US Open gold, Carl Yates. This certainly isn't their first rodeo together, so we should see them in sync from start to finish. Today they meet Robert Elliott, the founder of Engage Pickleball, who is partnered with the unmistakable prodigy, the young Ben Johns. We're picking up the match just a few points in due to some technical difficulties involving a small family of alligators attacking some of our award-winning cameramen. And the score is 3-1-2. Early on, we see Yates and Johns testing out the dink games. And Mr. Robert Elliott putting it into the net. He's well known for his aggressive play, but his dink game certainly has picked up a lot in recent years. We see the makings of a good dink rally emerging. Followed by a little fast and furious from Ashworth. He's a fantastic counterpuncher. Already a great game of cat and mouse here. Everyone showing their dinking skills. And just as I say that, Mr. Yates puts one into the net. That's certainly an uncharacteristic error from him. He's uh, typically more comfortable than most at the kitchen line. And aggressive play early from Elliot. He threads the ball through the middle. We call that the divorce ball. Neither player on the other side knowing who gets it. Three, one, one. John serving at 3 1 1. And the bearded wonder, Mr. Brian Ashworth, unable to uh, force him to play a couple of extra balls. Well, that's a big play. He really puts his whole body into it. Four-one-two is the score. Elliot serving to Yates. And a great looking put away. Ashworth moving into the center of the court when he noticed his partner was taken off. One-four-one. heated battle there between Johns and Ashworth. They're good friends off the court, uh, but when a gold medal is on the line, there's no love lost. Great power there from Johns. And we've got Elliot serving to Yates at 4-1-1, once again. Ashworth, he is a dink master. Yates using the net well. Oh, and slightly less well on that one. An extra point there for the pink team. 5-1-1 is the score. Ooh, I guess he was ready for that one. So many of these players training together, they know the ins and outs. 5-1-2. Five, 5-1-2. One, two. Five, one, two. Elliot playing a conservative third ball. Tried to take his head off. Luckily, uh, the head of Ben John staying firmly affixed. Well, 
Great control there. I love a good reset from midcourt. And that's frustrated Jan Yates. He thought he had a good chance to win that one. And instead, the pink team picking up another point. And there's that all important fifth ball trying to play a touch volley from midcourt. Some people say it's no man's land. I prefer to call it the land of opportunity. Second server. Ashworth serving now. 172 is the score. Aggressive move. You'll see that sometimes where a player lifts his leg to uh, create a counterbalance so he can lean in a little further. 7 1 1. Second server. You might need to start getting under that ball a little more. 7 1 2. Very nice, Mr. Elliott, showing these youngsters how it's done. And I think the yellow team would be wise eight, to call eight. a timeout now at 8-1. Uh, oh, even more so now with Mr. Elliott threading the ball down the line of Ashworth. Nine, one, two. Nine, one, two. Johns with a good looking third ball. And that's forced an error from Four. Yates. Just put a little bit of side spin on that, created a, a challenge. 10-1-2. Ooh, and that sailed long. It's hard to blame the man. It's uh, it's very tempting to play the hero shot when you're up by a, a large margin. Oh, I think he's caught the line. And a uh, brief exclamation there from Mr. Elliott, outlining exactly how lucky the player was. Oh, just catching that a little bit late off the paddle, spraying the ball wide. 3-10-1. And 3-10-1 there, looking to mount a comeback. I like it. Just long, but they've got another chance here to bridge the gap at 3-10-2. Three, ten, two. Three, ten, two. Oh, and that's a beautiful inside-out forehand volley. Caught John's unaware. It's uh, certainly one of my favourite shots. Well played, Mr. Ashworth, well played. Forward, ten, two. Let's see if they can't pick up another one. 4 10 2 is the score. And John's unable to handle the heat there. And they bring it back to 5 10. It's making it look respectable at least. through the middle. He slides nicely out of the way to give himself a uh, forehand. With a score, six, ten, and there's a timeout call. We're coming in at 6-10-2. Lovely. And another one that puts six points straight here. So often a good timeout is enough to uh, halt the momentum, but not on this occasion. 
Seven ten two. And high ball is met with authority from Johns on the backhand side. And that's given the serve back and a point for the first game. 10 7 1. Looks like the yellow team here are targeting Mr. Elliot. Hoping to break him down with dinks. And there's a nice looking lob. Oh! And he did all the hard work. Just needed to put it away. Ah, that's unfortunate there. Hopefully it won't cost him if uh, they can win this point and take the first game. Oh, and he's caught the top of the tape, attempting for an aggressive play early. It's not the time to forget what got you to the dance here, folks. This is where you need to do the hard work, force your opponents to play the tough balls. That was not a tough ball, and there's, uh, there's no excuse there for Mr. Ashworth. Just a bit of pressure, I feel. Sprayed that ball wide. Ashworth uh, thanking the linesman for his call. It's all fun and games here, folks, until someone loses an eye. And another ball down the middle has caused a communication error and uh, a reflex volley into the net. Now let's bring that one right again. Another point for the yellow team. Ten, ten, two. Ten, ten, two. What a comeback from one ten down. Just missed it. 11 10 2. And now for the game. Can they pull off a miracle? Ooh. And there's a reprieve from the engage Elliot Johns team. They have a chance to salvage this. And 10 11 1 is the score. Question is, can Elliot stay in the Dink Rally long enough? The strategy is clear here from the boys in yellow. And <laughs> boom goes the dynamite. That's a beautiful play from Ashworth. 10-11-2. Late call of out. And that levels the score at 11 all. Yates returning to Elliot. And a beautiful put away. Great put away through the middle. That's uh, it's not wise to be testing him through there. 12, 11, 1. Ashworth and Yates they've played together a lot. Second server. And they'll have another chance here after a third ball error from Yates. 12, 11, 2. 12, 11, 2. Oh. Point. And that's unfortunate. And that marks an incredible comeback. 
from 110 down. They've come back to win it 13-11. Here we are, game two. Score, zero, Getting underway in game two here. 0-0-2. Zero, zero, Getting an easy side out. We'll have Ashworth zero, zero, serving one. to Elliot. Just wide and an easy point there early. One zero one. One zero one is the score. Let's see if the pink team can mix it up a little bit. I like how quickly Elliot is to get back to the kitchen line. And again, Elliot starting a fire. It doesn't look like it's working. Einstein said once, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Might be time to mix it up, gentlemen. Ooh, Ashworth on the run, trying a touch dink. That's a tough shot from anybody. 2-0-2, Yates serving to Johns. Just wide there. Thank you. Let's give him back the serve. Zero two one. Zero two one is the score, and that serve Second looked serve. to be out. Zero two He's an aggressive player and can often get some free points off a big serve. Didn't work out from there though. John's left the station early, went for the Hail Mary, didn't quite pull it off. Still, we appreciate him trying. Second server. Two zero two. Two zero two. Yates serving to John's. And some third okay. ball errors. Some easy pickleball to be done here. Zero two one. a small lull in the play at the moment. I'm sure they'll pick it up. One of the most difficult things in the games is managing to keep concentration after a tough fought game. At what point do the crowd start throwing things on the court? Uh, that's a question we all ask ourselves. and return to excitement. Well done, gentlemen. 2-2-2 two, two, two is the score. Beautiful put away from Ashworth. He's got the guns out for a reason there, folks. A lot of power at his disposal. 2-2-1. Two, two, and Mr. Elliot. The backhand slice return, just catching the top of the net. 3-2-1 is the score. Wow, that's a good looking inside out backhand into the body of Elliot. And that's given him a high ball to put away. 4-2-1. Plenty of top spin on that ball there from Johns, making that ball a little more awkward there from Ashworth. And we've got 4 2 2. Just long. And there's a 5 2 2. And they're trying to figure out if that ball was in or out. Called it out. Okay, it's point. 
And the ball was called out, so that should be a point. We got a one-minute timeout over here. Okay, here we go. Score six two two. So six two two is the score after the timeout. Aggressive play there from Elliot. Such is the way. And Ashworth just missing a wide dink. Two six one. On this occasion, that aggressive middle ball has worked out well for Elliot. He may indeed be uh, encouraged to continue. Another great looking play away from Yates. Anything shoulder height really or above, it's almost a, uh, a guaranteed put away. Unfortunately, the net there proving to be the exact right height. Six three one, Ashworth serving to Jones. That's a tough ball to be able to softly dink over the net. No shame in that, Kyle. Six three two. And that ball is sailed long. Seven three two. Ashworth tries the third now. Some inventive dinking. Oh, look at that, guys. That's impressive play. Yates has set himself up for an intercept followed by an around the post winner. Fantastic rally. The referee is called 8-2-2. It is in fact 8-3-2. Uh, great attack through the middle. Again, someone needs to be waiting for those. When you see a high ball, folks at home, make sure you do squeeze the center. They're not going to rip it on the outside very often. Oh, it's showtime now for Yates. And Ashworth feeds off it. That's a good looking high 10. And we see this jumping over the kitchen. Perfectly legal. See how they attempt to finish this. Some nice dinks back and forth here. There's a lob and a put away smash from Ashworth. And there you have it, guys. It's good night, Irene. Yates and Ashworth winning the 19 plus men's doubles 13 11 11 3. Thanks for joining us. Morgan Evans here signing off for the Pickleball Channel. See you next time.